Welcome Royal Watchers and Enthusiasts to our channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more engaging content. Today we're diving deep into the hallowed halls of Buckingham Palace to discuss a topic that has been the subject of much debate and speculation. The relationship dynamics between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle. This is a tale of two duchesses, bound by their shared destiny within the royal family, but divided by a complex web of emotions and perceptions. Our focus will be on the alleged jealousy of Kate Middleton towards Meghan Markle. We'll explore the origins of this supposed envy, its manifestations, and the impact it has had on their relationship and the royal family as a whole. So, fasten your seatbelts as we navigate through the gilded corridors of power, prestige, and palace intrigue. So, sit back and let's delve into this intriguing aspect of royal life. The year 2016 marked a significant turning point in the British monarchy with the entrance of Meghan Markle. This American actress, with her radiant smile and infectious energy, was unlike any royal Britain had seen before. Her charisma was undeniable, her confidence palpable. Meghan Markle stepped onto the global stage, not just as a royal fiancé, but as a woman with a voice, with opinions, with a zest for life that was both refreshing and invigorating. The public was instantly enamoured by her. The common folk saw in her a relatable figure, someone who was not born into privilege but who had earned her place in the world through hard work and determination. Meghan was a breath of fresh air, a burst of Californian sunshine in the often dreary and rigid world of the British monarchy. Yet this sudden surge in popularity did not sit well with everyone. Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, had until then been the poster girl of the royal family. The po but Meghan's arrival seemed to cast a shadow over Kate's carefully curated image. Kate, it appeared, was not prepared for Meghan's meteoric rise to fame. The press, the public, the palace, all eyes were now on Meghan. It was a shift in dynamics that Kate was not ready for. For the first time, she was not the leading lady, but the supporting actress. And the cracks in her perfect princess facade began to show. Meghan, on the other hand, remained unfazed by the royal drama unfolding around her. She continued to charm the world with her warmth and genuineness, her passion for philanthropy, and her unapologetic stand on issues close to her heart. Meghan's arrival, it seemed, had stirred the royal pot. And little did anyone know, it was just the beginning of a royal saga that would captivate the world for years to come. As Meghan continued to charm the public, a less savoury side of Kate Middleton began to emerge. The green-eyed monster, as Shakespeare so aptly named jealousy, began to rear its ugly head within the palace walls. Kate, who had once been the darling of the royal family, now found herself overshadowed by Meghan's undeniable charisma and vibrant personality. Let's delve into this further. Kate's alleged jealousy wasn't merely a case of sibling rivalry, but rather a profound insecurity that manifested in her attempts to undermine Meghan. She seemed to perceive Meghan's popularity not as a boon for the royal family, but as a threat to her own standing. This was evident in several instances, where Kate's actions were not in the spirit of sisterhood, but rather revealed a desperate need to regain control. One such instance was the infamous tights incident, where Kate, supposedly upset over Meghan's decision not to have her bridesmaids wear tights at her wedding, created a scene. This was not just about fashion protocol, but a desperate attempt by Kate to assert dominance and control over Meghan. Yet, the more Kate tried to undermine Meghan, the more her own insecurities became glaringly apparent. Her actions did not dim Meghan's light, but rather cast a long shadow on her own character. It was as if Kate was trying to extinguish Meghan's fire with her own cold jealousy, but all it did was make the flames of Meghan's popularity burn brighter. Kate's attempts to suppress Meghan's popularity only served to make her own insecurities more apparent. The public saw through the petty games and the royal family's attempts at manipulation. They recognised Meghan's authenticity and charisma, qualities that cannot be dimmed by jealousy or overshadowed by royal protocols. In the end, the green-eyed monster did not devour its victim, but rather revealed the true nature of the beast itself. The royal machinery, too, was not immune to this jealousy. The age-old establishment, with its stringent rules and rigid protocols, found itself unprepared for the dynamic energy Meghan brought to the table. It was akin to a gust of wind sweeping through a dusty, forgotten library, stirring up the dust and the long-held beliefs entrenched within the royal walls. 
The royal machinery, in its desperate attempt to maintain the status quo, instructed Megan to be 50% of herself. Imagine being told to dim your light, to muffle your voice, and shrink your presence to only half of what you truly are. This was the royal establishment's way of trying to control the impact Meghan was having, not just on the British public, but on the world stage. This edict, however, had a profound effect on Meghan. It was like asking a bird not to fly or a fish not to swim. Meghan, a woman of substance and spirit, found herself shackled by the invisible chains of royal decorum. And it was here that the tension between Kate and Meghan escalated. Kate, who had always adhered to the royal rules, saw Meghan's resistance as a breach of protocol. It only fueled her jealousy and widened the gap between the two women. But what Kate and the royal machinery failed to understand was that Meghan's charm and charisma were not a threat, but a breath of fresh air that could have brought the monarchy closer to the people. The royal machinery's attempts to minimise Meghan's influence only highlighted their own fear of change. Their resistance to Meghan's vibrant personality was a clear indication of their inability to adapt and evolve. And while they thought they were preserving the monarchy, they were, in reality, only revealing its flaws and shortcomings to the world. The uncomfortable truth was that Kate's jealousy was more about her own inadequacy than Meghan's success. It was a tale as old as time, a woman feeling threatened by another woman's success, and rather than rising to meet it, she chose to undermine it. This was not a simple case of rivalry between two women in the public eye. No, this was a manifestation of Kate's deep-seated inadequacy. As much as she tried to mask it behind a veneer of royal decorum and a practiced smile, this inadequacy was there for all to see. It was in every forced laugh, every strained smile, every attempt to belittle Meghan's achievements. It was in the way she sought to control Meghan's image, to minimize her impact, to make her less than she was. But what Kate failed to understand was that her actions did not diminish Meghan. Instead, they amplified her own shortcomings. They revealed a woman who was not secure in her own position, who could not handle the introduction of a vibrant, independent and charismatic woman into her world. They revealed a woman who was willing to manipulate and control in order to maintain her own sense of superiority. And what were the implications of this for the royal family? Well, it painted a picture of a monarchy that was stuck in the past, that was unwilling to embrace change, that was threatened by the very idea of it. It showed a family that was more interested in preserving its own image than in promoting the values it claimed to represent. In the end, it seems, the royal family's biggest enemy was not Meghan Markle, but their own fear of change. By trying to suppress Meghan, they revealed their own insecurities, their own inadequacies, and in doing so, they exposed the uncomfortable truth about themselves to the world. So, there you have it. A tale of jealousy and power within the royal family. We've traversed the path of Kate Middleton's deep-seated insecurities, her relentless efforts to undermine Meghan Markle, and the royal establishment's complicity in this unfortunate saga. The ripple effects of this toxic dynamic have not only shaken the foundations of the royal family, but also cast a shadow on their public image. It's a cautionary tale, reminding us that even the loftiest of palaces are not immune to the pettiness of jealousy and the politics of power. Meghan's unyielding spirit and authenticity in the face of such adversity stand as a beacon of resilience. As we wind up this royal drama, we're left wondering if the monarchy can evolve beyond its archaic protocols and personal vendettas to embrace the diversity and dynamism of the modern world. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the lives of those who wear the crowns. Until next time, cheerio.